think you guys needed a home game after play day. I believe it was a 56 day stretch where, where you guys only had the one Colorado games. Just, just kind of the way, kind of the way the schedule worked out. Do you, do you feel like you, you guys needed to come back home and play a game here? Uh, yeah. I mean, the way the schedule goes, can't really control that. So uh, you know, we definitely could have done better on the road. So that's no excuse. But uh, happy to come home. Happy to play in front of some great fans at Martin Stadium on Saturday. Coach said practice today was, was, was pretty spirited. Did, 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 what did you see? Did, did, did you feel like it was more spirited than the normal? Did you feel like you guys got more done than usual? Uh, yeah, it was definitely more spirited. I wouldn't say we got more done than usual. Just did it in a little bit quicker tempo, a little bit quicker pace, uh, a little bit more urgency. You love to see that. Uh, people moving around more of a purpose, uh, encouraging each other, uh, you know, uh, letting people know when they made a good play and, uh, you know, encouraging people when they made a bad play. So, uh, you know, just a lot of positive reinforcement, getting the energy, get out there. Been a keyword urgency the, 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 the last couple of days since you guys got back from Cal. Uh, I'm not sure if it's been uh, you know the key word, but uh, I just think uh, collectively as a group we need to be a little bit more urgent and uh, realize that uh, you know we're we're letting opportunities go by the wayside. So we need to uh, we need to buckle down and take advantage of these next three opportunities we have in front of us. Anthony, did you see Leach's post game comment about uh, a failed experiment at, at being nice? A positive feedback, that kind of thing. Uh, I didn't see him. I didn't see the article, but uh, he kind of mentioned it to us a little bit of the positive reinforcement and stuff. So it's us as players that need to kind of do that now. And uh, you know, the coaches do a great job of getting us prepared and uh, uh, whatever they think's best for the team, whatever uh, whatever mindset he needs, uh, you know, uh, in, instill upon us. Uh, I'm all with it. Did it seem like that experiment had it had been going on all season, kind of based on how how good last year's team was and that kind of thing? Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, I, I haven't really looked too much into it. I haven't given it much thought, but uh, maybe a little bit. Have there been any player-led meetings or anything like that the past couple of weeks where maybe one offensive player steps up to talk or one defensive player? Or do, do, do you think uh, players need to st start holding each other accountable or what, what needs to happen from, from your guys? Uh, you know, our, our team standards is we're always trying to hold people accountable and uh, we're working towards uh, making sure everybody that is in the building is committed rather, rather than interested uh, is our big thing. You know, people that are committed towards uh, towards improving and getting better and taking advantage of these next three opportunities in front of us. So it hasn't really been any player-led thing. Just kind of it's actions over words at this point. Words are just kind of empty, so we need, a, we need to prove it with our actions. Can you describe why teams like Cal and Washington always seem to give you give, give you guys problems defensively with, with what they do, and may, maybe it's coverage, maybe it's something they do schematically, maybe, maybe, it's just, maybe it's just doing their job and being sound and executing and whatnot. I'd say it's uh, them doing their job, just being sound and executing. You know, uh, Cal was uh, an inspired defense. They played hard, and uh, we just need to match the intensity, and, uh, you know, it just needs to mean more to us. So we're going to come out on Saturday ready to go and uh, play with a purpose and, you know, make sure all these all the plays that we go through are meaningful. I'm doing an East South Winston Jr. Uh, feature, and I was just kind of trying to get a little bit of context between uh, you guys' relationship. Uh, kind of talk about that a little bit, what it's kind of been like having him as a receiver this year. Uh, you know, me and Aesop, we go back to JUCO days, and uh, uh, I noticed Aesop, uh, he was a special talent the first time. You know, I got to throw to him. I realized that he did things that other receivers really couldn't. And, uh, you know, he may not be the most uh, physically gifted uh, speed-wise and all that, but he uses uh, – he uses that to his advantage. Uh, you know, he's real savvy, sets people up the right way, and he's got great hands. And, uh, you know, our connection throughout City going through here has been a big part of my success uh, this year as well. Uh, could you kind of describe your uh, off-field relationship with him a little bit? Uh, you know, me and Aesop, uh, when we go back home, we make sure we see each other at least once or twice. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll hit each other up whenever we're doing something fun or something with some friends. And uh, always, you know, we get together to throw here and there too. But, uh you know we're from we're from different cities, so we uh, didn't go to the same high school, so maybe a little bit different friend groups. But uh, we'll always make sure to get together at least once or twice when we're back home. And uh, out here, you know, he's one of my best friends for sure. Do you think Liam's been pretty hard on himself with, with, with the penalties this season and, and to turn the correct? Do you, do you think he's really making making a concerted effort not not to draw as many and, and really correct that the last three or four games here? Yeah, I mean Liam's the most passionate player on this team, arguably. So uh, he he takes a great deal of pride when uh, when he falls up a little bit of short, a little bit short, you know. Uh, so you know, you know, don't want him to beat himself up too much, but you know, it's it's cool to see him uh, hold himself accountable and uh, he's doing whatever he can to correct his mistakes, and he'll be ready to go on Saturday. I'm, and I'm confident in that. Do you think it's maybe harder to avoid those penalties playing outside at tackle, where, where you're maybe more on an island, maybe more prone to be holding or, or committing false starts or whatnot? Maybe a little bit. Uh, I know that the guard, I mean, I've never played a line, but I'm sure the guard to tackle transition is a little bit different than some people may think. So, uh, but he's done a great job, uh, you know, doing everything we ask him to do. But uh, 
and I know that he's gonna he's gonna do his part and uh, eliminate some of those penalties this weekend. Maybe that passion has, has caused him to be a little too hard on himself, throw himself off, maybe not be able to focus uh, as much as, as he would like to, something like that? Maybe a little bit. Me and Liam are kind of similar, I guess, with the, the passion that we have where we can uh, get really up. And uh, we don't really get down, but we can kind of, you know, we can kind of beat ourselves up a little bit. And uh, I mean, I've talked to him, and uh, him and I both need to do a better job just playing the next play, you know, and uh, bringing others around with us. So uh, people feed off of our energy on the offense. So we got to do our part, make sure everybody's positive. That last night, did, did you throw anything at a wall or scream? Or <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I can't give Russ that many tries in OT. You know, Seahawks are a good team, and Russ is a, Russ is a great quarterback. So it was a fun game to watch, though.